क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन ए क्यूबिकल ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम एंड साइड ए इज प्लेस ऑन रफ ऑरिजोनटल प्लेन एज सोन इन द फिगर ए फोर्स एफ इज एक्टिंग ऑन द ब्लॉक एट हाइट थ्री ए बाई फोर फ्रॉम द बॉटम द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ कॉफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सच दैट ब्लॉक टॉपल्स विदाउट स्लाइडिंग विल बी सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम If I consider a point P, where topple will take place, so we can say there is a normal force and the direction of frictional force will be on the left hand side. And A by two, this is the position of center of mass. So mg will act at A by two from one side and P. So this is the half portion of this block and force is applied f at the position 3a by 4 from the bottom and we know for topple you need couple force and it should be greater or equal to torque created by the mg yani jo mg force torque create karega सेकेंड एक्सटर्नल फोर्स क्रिएट करेगा अगर आपका फोर्स ऑफ कपल जो फ्रिक्शन और एक्सटर्नल फोर्स से बन रहा है उसका वैल्यू टॉर्क क्रिएटेड बाय द एम के इक्वल है या उससे ग्रेटर है देन टॉपल विल बी पॉसिबल सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक टॉर्क ड्यू टू फोर्स ऑफ कपल इफ इट इज ग्रेटर और इक्वल टू द टॉर्क क्रिएटेड बाई द एम सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक the frictional force fs will be equal to f for making a couple so that they constitute a couple if this force and external f will be equal then they will create couple so now i am going to take torque about point p this is my point p f is the external force and i need perpendicular distance no confusion 3a by 4 greater or equal mg i need perpendicular distance because this is the line of action so from point p that is a by 2 as i discussed a by 2 so by this relation you can find the value of f is greater or equal to 2 mg by 3 because a a will cancel out and 2 2 is 4 right so for the required condition frictional force must be equal or greater to f frictional force i can calculate by mu mg because formula is mu n and this is greater or equal to f and you know the value of f this is 2 mg by 3 and mu mg 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 will cancel out i have mu is greater or equal to 2 by 3 so this is the final value of coefficient of friction so i can say my option number 4 will be the right choice so let's move on question number 42 in the question number 42 if moving particle have linear momentum p and position vector r then choose the correct relation between r and p and angular momentum l of particle about the origin before going to the option i would like to say something because you all know angular momentum is given by the cross product between position vector and linear momentum so if i use the vector algebra then we can analyze my observation number 1 angular momentum should be perpendicular to the position vector observation number 2 angular momentum should be perpendicular to the linear momentum and observation number 3 if i take dot product between angular momentum and position vector because they are perpendicular so will be zero because cos 90 is zero and my four observation dot product between angular momentum and linear momentum will be zero by this formula you can analyze this so now i am going to read the option first option is saying r dot l will be zero yes absolutely correct r cross l will be zero no because r and l both are perpendicular and during cross product you will write r l sin theta if theta is 90 then it will not be zero so this is not possible 
L dot P is not equal to 0. Option is saying. So, this is not possible. L cross P is 0. No. Because L and P both are perpendicular. So, in terms of sin theta, this is not equal to 0. So, this is not possible. So, I can say my option number will be the final choice. So option 1 will be the correct option. So, let us move on question number 43. Question number 43, a uniform rod of PQ mass m length l rotate with an angular velocity omega while its center moves with linear velocity 2 omega l upon 3. A smooth horizontal surface if the end q of the rod is suddenly gets stuck at the moment in the figure then angular velocity of the rod. So, the final position is given. The V as per the problem is 2 omega L by 3. Now, I am going to take anti-clockwise direction as a positive. I would repeat. I will take anti-clockwise direction as a positive. So, you are saying this part will be moved like that and this is. So, after making my sign convection, I am going to use the law of conservation of angular momentum. So, you know initial angular momentum will be equal to the final angular momentum. So, first I will write the initial angular momentum m v l by 2 and another one is i omega I will use. This is for translatory and rotatory you know because v is a translatory motion. So, v is moving along x axis that is why I am going to use m b into perpendicular distance because from B to P perpendicular distance is L by 2, but both are having different sign and as I said anti-clockwise direction I will take positive. So, minus I omega I need moment of inertia of the rod about center of mass ml square by 12 into omega and that is equal I omega dash. Omega dash is our requirement. So, now I am going to place the value M into because V, V is given by the question 2 omega L by 3 into L by 2 minus M L square upon 12 omega because value of moment of inertia you know M L square by 3 finally rod was stuck. So, omega dash. So, you can cancel M L square M L square and m l square because 2 l is there. So, I have omega by 3, omega by 12 and omega dash by 3. So, when you will take the simple calculation you will find omega dash 3 omega by 4. So, my option number 4 will be the right choice. So, let us move on question number 44. In the question number 44, a wheel initially at rest start rotating with uniform angular acceleration, uniform acceleration. So, you have a license to use the equation of motion also. The wheel rotate through an angle theta 1 in first second through an additional angle theta 2 in next 2 second, the value of theta 2 upon theta 1. So, I will use the equation of motion theta 1 omega naught t plus 1 by 2 alpha t square because angular velocity was 0. So, I have 1 by 2 alpha for first second. I am going to take time is 1 second. So, I have alpha by 2 is the value of theta 1. But question is asking to us next 2 second. That is why first I am going to take 3 second. Initial velocity was 0, 1 by 2 alpha 3 square. So, you will have 9 alpha by 2. But I need next 2 second. So, for the calculation of theta 2, theta dash minus theta 1 because theta 1 is for 1 second and theta dash for 3 seconds. So, that will give you additional 2 second. So, 9 alpha by 2 is the value of theta dash and theta 1 is alpha by 2. So, when you will calculate 4 alpha you will get. So, when I will solve the ratio theta 2 upon theta 1 that is equal 8 because the value of theta 2 is 4 alpha and value of theta 1 is alpha by 2. So, my final answer is option number 1. So, let us move on question number 45. In the question number 45, two object, a ring and a spherical cell 
of same mass you have to concentrate same mass and radius are released from the top of the two identical inclined plane you have to concentrate inclined plane if they are rolling without slipping then the ratio of speed of center of mass of the two object when they will reach the bottom of the inclined plane is and you all know in the inclined plane we can calculate the velocity by using the formula 2gh and this is very popular one k square upon r square second thing how you will calculate k square upon r square suppose you know the radius of gyration is given by mk square and for example if i take moment of inertia of the ring about center of mass so when you will compare these two equations you will get mk square is equal to mr square so you will find k square upon r square is equal to 1 for the ring right so what will be the conclusion if i go for solid sphere then coefficient of mr square will be 2 upon 5 so value of k square upon r square will be 2 upon 5 if you are having spherical cell then moment of inertia of the spherical cell just equal to hollow sphere so 2 by 3 mr square so we can write k square upon r square for the another object spherical cell will be 2 by 3 in the case of k square upon r square you need only the coefficient of mr square so this one so if i go for a speed for the ring so we'll write 2gh 1 plus for the ring k square upon r square is 1 so that will give you 2 so when you will solve 2 2 will cancel out you have only gh and when i will move for spherical cell 2gh 1 plus 2 by 3 that will give you 3 will come in per side so 6 upon 5 g h but the my point of interest is to find the ratio between ring to the spherical cell so when you will divide ring is root g h and this one is 6 upon 5 g h g h g h will cancel out so you have only 5 by 6 and this is the final ratio so i can say my option number 2 will be the right choice So thank you very much and we'll meet again in the test number 3. Thank you.